this is it guys. It finally popped on its own. I'm still gonna go to the doctor though. All that pus smells really, 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 really bad. And this is the side effects from chemo. So there's a lot of swelling. There's still another knot there, as you can see. And there's swelling all down the side of my breast. And I am at work right now having to go through this. Hi guys, welcome back to Talking with Tisha, where every ribbon counts. So of course, again, I am outside in front of my house shooting this video because by the time I got home from the dermatologist appointment, there's not enough lighting in my house. Um, today I want to talk to you about Hydronitis superativa. I think I'm saying it right. I really don't know because it is new to me. Some of you may be suffering with this and it may not be new to you and some of you may not know what the hell I'm talking about. So basically, it's like a boil that forms in spaces that you don't want them to form in. Sometimes pe people get them in between their thighs, which I do not have, thank God. Sometimes pe people get them like in creases of their arms. Um, me, I got them underneath my arms, which you saw in the videos that I, or the pictures that I posted. So, a lot of people get this. Um, I looked online to research how you get this. So people that smoke, I guess, um, people that are overweight, uh, there's a lot of, uh, if you excessively sweat all the time, you're working out, going to the gym, and you sweat a lot you can get it maybe in your groin area a lot of people even get it in their buttocks area which i do not have um you know all jokes aside i got this this runs in my family and um i'll probably say that again towards the end of this this video but this runs in my family um but I have never gotten it because I don't have any of those risk factors. But since my immune system was compromised by being on the chemo, now all of a sudden I got a whole bunch of crap. If you've been on chemo, then you know, like this is bullshit. <laughs> it's like so many side effects and your body is on overload and you don't know what to do about it so i started getting these bumps while i was going through my chemo and i got the um injections of kenalog kenalog it helped a lot you know and then months later i started getting them even more and i don't know if it's coming from the deodorant that i was using so of course i asked my doctor they said i can use whatever deodorant i want i can shave if i want to whatever that's all bullshit. that's all lies if they tell you you can you can whatever deodorant you want shaving whatever is bullshit. okay because the hair follicles get trapped inside and they cannot release and that's what causes the boil or the big ass bump under your arm and so i was just doing what they said i could do and i was constantly seeing myself back into the dermatologist's office so this time um back in march when i was in orlando for my birthday if you guys watched that video if you didn't go back and watch it um I I was I was going through the same thing like I got my injection before I went because it was starting to swell up and one doctor said warm compresses another doctor said don't do warm compresses like I'm totally freaking confused what do I do yes or no 
so i went to orlando and the bump just started getting bigger and bigger i went and got the injection and thank god it was like oozing at the time because she was able to swab it and see that it was some kind of weird infection like i needed to be on antibiotics so that cut my trip short so the antibiotics that they gave me like gave me massive diarrhea and i know this is too much information like tmi but like some antibiotics really don't agree with my stomach and probably don't agree with yours you know if you're allergic to any antibiotics it was amoxicillin she also gave me uh gentamicin to put on um because it was oozing really bad um i tried all kinds of stuff baking soda like nothing worked you know baking soda just put a hole in my in my arm so you can't believe everything you hear or see on YouTube. Like what works for some may not work for you. You know, it's all about trial and error. And I've learned that a lot dealing with this hydronitis spirativa. I'm, I'm sure I'm saying it wrong. And if I'm saying it wrong, you can just correct me. I don't care. It's fine. Um, so long story short, today, you know, I, I, I ran out of the um, deodorant that I normally use, which is a, um, a roll-on which I got from the hospital when I had my craniotomy. I just happened to use it because it was just sitting there. And it, it, went, it was gone for like since March. And then two weeks ago, it came back. And at my job, like you take off, you, it's complicated. But um, so I decided to um, not take off and it just kept getting bigger and bigger and I thought I could handle it on my own. You know, I was doing the warm compresses. I was taking the amoxicillin, even though it was upsetting my stomach. I was doing the gentamicin and it was so bad guys. Like the, the bump was so big. I could barely lift my arms above my head. Like this is as high as I can lift it now. And it was draining. Like it, it wasn't really draining, but it was like so bad. I couldn't, I couldn't sleep on either side. I had like swelling going from my arm down the side of my, like near my breast. All of this was swollen and painful and red. Um, I would sleep on hitting pads, like whatever I could do because I couldn't miss work, you know, like I miss work for just about everything, all these doctor's appointments. And it just got so bad. So today um, it actually drained while I was at work and I'll put in a clip later. But it drained while I was at work and it smells so, so, so bad. I don't even know how to describe it. I don't even know what it smells like, but it's something that you've never smelled in your entire life. I swear to God. Like, it's like, it doesn't, it, I can't even describe the smell. It's bad. So I rushed in the bathroom. Thank God I had an undershirt. I always wear long sleeves and I took it off and there was like pus just draining down my arm. So I went and got my injection today. Um, I asked him what I could do about it. He's like, basically, you either have surgery and it comes back. Why would I have surgery for it to come back? It could come back in a different spot underneath my arm. Why would I put a hole in my arm for it to come back? Then there is laser hair surgery removal or whatever, but that's not covered by insurance. Then there is um, still the injections or what else did he mention um humera and i always thought humera was to treat something else but he said it treats this type of thing but my oncologist doesn't want me to be on humera because of my cancer so wtf guys come on come up with something better like it's always when it's something not so important to other people because they don't have it they, they don't have a cure or nothing for it. I mean, come on. Why is this, what? I mean, come on, like my immune system is low. It's always gonna be low. So am I always gonna have to deal with? Am I never gonna be able to shave? Am I never gonna be able to wear like something like this, you know, out? Am I just gonna have to walk, walk around like a hairy monster? Or am I gonna have bumps under my arms, swollen and stuff dripping down my arm? Like, this is a freaking nightmare. Like, I know it's something so small, but if you've been through something like this and you know what I'm going through, you understand the pain. 
that I feel like it's so freaking painful. It's like pain and it's radiating down your arms. You like I had to sleep on my back last night because I couldn't sleep on either side because that was it was sharp, stabbing, piercing pain. You mean to tell me that the only thing that I can do is get an injection in my arm, a Kenalog injection? There has to be some kind of natural remedies or something for this. I'm going to keep searching, guys. You let me know if you know anything, any natural remedies. I got to keep this video short because I have other videos that I need to put in place. But if you like, please click the like button. Hit the notif notification bell so you don't to miss on anything. I always forget to say that for some reason um, and share with anybody or drop something in the comments that you know that can help me deal with the situation. So this is what I'm dealing with right now. They kind of bandaged it up and it's not as bad as it was before, but I'm going to um, drop in what I was dealing with earlier today and what I've been dealing with all week. Okay guys, so I am back home. I wasn't really able to record anything at the dermatologist's office because it hurt so bad with him giving me the injections, especially under the arm where I had three of these um, huge bumps. Um, so I'll just show you what it looks like that they patched me up. That's one and that's the other arm. So they gave me some medication from before when I was first dealing with this that I'm gonna use. So if you're experiencing anything like what I'm experiencing and um, things are just rough, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to talk about because I am not used to this. But for those of you that do have hydronitis sparativa, I think that's how you say it. I'm probably saying it wrong. I know I'm saying it wrong. But this is one of the ointments that they gave me to put under my arms. It's called genomycin um, ointment. And that's usually what they give you after it has drained and um, the pus is coming out and starts itching or whatever so it doesn't get infected. They also usually give you amoxicillin, which we all know is an antibiotic. So, like I said, this is what I'm dealing with right now. I mean, it's still, pus is still actually still coming out. It's crazy. And that one. So... Thanks for watching and I'm sorry, you know, I didn't come to you under better, better circumstances because this is supposed to be positive and uplifting, but I just wanted to share with you what I am going through since um, the chemo. You know, once you're on chemo, like I said in the beginning of the video, once you're on chemo, you... Um, experience all these different things with your body <laughs> it's crazy <sighs> so <clears throat> when your immune system gets low you it, you're opening yourself up to all kinds of things and i guess since this kind of runs in my family I've never had it before myself personally because usually it runs in people that's kind of overweight. But when it lowers your immune system, stuff like this kind has it comes out. So, I mean, I'll talk talk to you about other things that have happened to me. Sorry, I'm the camera is moving around cuz I'm holding my phone. <laughs> so, um I'll talk to you guys about other things that has happened to me um, since I'm no longer on the chemo and things that I've had to deal with as far as um, side effects and reactions and 
all kinds of things that have alternated or changed my body in any kind of way. Thanks for watching. If again, like I said in the beginning, if you like this video, please um, click the thumbs up button. Um, comment down below if you are suffering with this um, rare skin condition that I just happened to get myself because it's very painful. It hurts really, really bad. And share anything that you know that would help me because honestly, I've been looking at so many videos and nothing helps. I've tried the potato. I've tried baking soda. Like I just looked at something that said something about tea tree oil. I'm definitely going to try that. Um, just share anything that you've done that has helped you because I really need help with this. The doctors really don't tell you much. Thanks for watching. Again, please click the like button. Share with others that you know may be going through something like this. And um, hit the bell notification so that you do not miss out on any videos. Bye. Thanks for listening, guys, on Talk with Tisha. Please click the like button, subscribe to my channel, and follow. If you know anyone dealing with cancer or any type of cancer, you can share this video with them and hopefully it will be uplifting and powerful. You can also follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Thank you for listening, guys. Thank you for being here for me and I am here for you. Have a blessed day. Believe in yourself and know that everything is possible.